Six Saints and Tasty Cakes podcast. I'm Bert Lepore. He's Samuel Monte Carlo. We're hanging here with Angry Mike D. And we talk about music, movies, and so much more. Mixtapes right. and Tasty Cakes, Bert Lepore, Damian Monte Carlo, Angry Mike D, special guest, JoJo Berklin from the Circus Hearts, and Steve Tabilio from Seems Like Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cheers. We're here for the Wreck of the Rumble tonight. Um, to anybody listening? Little, Bert? Yeah. Yes. How's this work? So, pe- so the people know how we do this a record uh, rumble. Well, well, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. First, uh, what I want to do, I want to introduce who we got here. So I want to talk a little bit about them for a second here. We got Joe from the Circus Hearts. Joe Berkman. Me and Joe Berkman go back a long, long time. For my first drummer ever in my first band. Steel what band, Justice. What band was that? You said that like the, it's like the first person you had sex with. He's yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> Joey was the first one to break my bowl. Yeah, I, I was. And uh, Bert was my first singer. Oh, gee, God help you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God help you. So you should reach all this first. <laughs> yeah, yes, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, good stuff here. Uh, they just put out a record. Oh, pretty awesome. Thank vinyl. You. It's Appreciate on vinyl. That. Which that's, is, pretty, that's pretty yep. cool looking. I got it's it very behind cool. me too. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, Appreciate great. that. Artwork. Very, very Chris good. Nico. Yeah. He, he did all the artwork. Yeah. Chris. So, uh, Joe, tell us who else is in your band. Uh, Chris Arninko, we go back. Remember back at you those days? Yeah, back at yeah. you. Steve remembers back at you. Yeah, back at you. Uh, Chris, uh, Sean Flynn on guitar. Chris is playing bass. Joe Izuena, lead singer. Uh, Chris Peace on keys, and we have Mike Kiker as well. He's on. He's playing on the album, uh, and uh, two lovely ladies. Michelle and Raina. Wow, I didn't know and, you had. I didn't know you had some women's in the band. Yeah, and we have a sax player, uh, Bobby Michaels. Nice. And I think that's it. And myself. Yeah. And my nose. And... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, I, I think that's I got it. working here. Joe, the background checks are in the band. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. They. They will. Not they side are... members. N- yeah. No, they're no. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. Not yet. Uh, now they're going to be, uh, they'll be full. I want to put them up front with our, with everybody. That's the so, move. Uh, Speaking of that, we'll get to Steve. Yeah. I want to tell him the same thing. Well, he already knows. You yeah. put them up front. Nobody wants to see up us. Up front. No, no. <laughs> I, that's where I'd like. I mean, the other guys are hearing that for the first time now. So, uh, yeah, that's what you, you just know. get. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what as, you just get. As they're, texting, Nico. <laughs> as they're texting me now. But, uh, um yeah but dude yeah, the record's it. really good man it's really good it's got uh i don't know Appreciate it's got it. that 70s flair to it i think which i kind of i kind of really dig i dig more and more yeah. as i get a little older um it sounds great the production's great who did the record who produced it and they recorded it uh this guy derek shelf what's his last name it's on the album the flan yeah. Or something. yeah yeah i know who that guy is is that the yeah. barn did you do it up yeah there? at the barn okay yeah. yeah 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 we did that we'll probably go back there again to so nice that's yeah. a hike uh, you know joe it is yeah. uh you know what are you gonna do when you got uh a great we were, place we were gonna it's, go up there and yeah. that was just too much of a drive oh like, really yeah yeah, yeah. Was we like, just... oh, dude we gotta go somewhere more local than that you yeah know? it's far yeah, um, it is up there it's it's a it's a hike you know and it, and it sneaks up on you like when you pull into his spot like his turn is if you miss it you're hitting a wall <laughs> So you got to like drive slow yeah. and there's deer and stuff like that. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Mike D South Philly. Or, you know. Jake, Jake Goldberg's in the room. He says, hello. What's up, Jake? Jake. What's up, bud? I haven't seen Jake in a long time. Good to hear from you, brother. Uh, we got her Nico, of course, is in the room and uh, Chris Delizio's in the room so far. So yeah, let's, let's light this motherfucker up. huh? We have Steve Tabilio from seems like Tuesday. Coming out with uh, a CD very, very soon. You're wrapping up, Steve. Let us know uh, what's going on with the CD. Um, it's coming out. Well, it's an EP. Um, we're actually going in the studio tomorrow again um, with Dave Wombat, 
Piron. That's I the guy. That's, that's my me. guy. Um, to do some stuff over there. Um, and we're gonna put it with the four songs we we did at Cambridge with Jim Salomon and Tony Mecca. So uh we just figured we needed a couple more tunes to uh to put on there. Four wasn't enough, we felt. So um we're going there tomorrow night to do a couple tunes and then uh the EP comes out February seventeenth. We're having a like a record release sort of at the uh, Berlin Brewing Company nice. in Berlin. So that's what we're up to at this point. Very cool. Um, yeah, Joe, that's good because Joe just told me that they're having their first gig February tenth. Yeah, it's set for. So that's great because I could go to both. So, we're yeah, that works ready. out perfect. Where Where's you that playing, at? Joe? Yeah, you the Ruba. The Ruba. Oh, it's a good room. That's a good room. Yeah. yeah, I like that room. Yeah. 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 You played there a couple months yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a cool. Probably spot. shouldn't be saying anything online right now, but I'm doing it anyway. Hey, listen, it's only the it's five of us and Chris that are listening, so we're all right. We're 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 yeah, we're getting ready. We're rehearsing for it, so. Yeah, that's right. great I, I could actually come to that now because i uh I'm, I'm parting ways with the business after 10 years really yeah wow. breaking down. news baby breaking news Whoa. breaking news <laughs> um yeah the schedule is just insane Crazy. anymore and you know I, it's just hard to keep that up yeah um yeah. so you know we figured now would be a good time to just uh step back before the summertime comes and then i'm down the shore every friday and saturday just that's tough so uh, I have a lot more time on my hands to come see my friends like you. Awesome. So I'd be there. <laughs> very, very cool. Great. Very, very cool. So, uh, okay. So we're going to play the record rumble. Uh, give you the rules of the game. The screw job is not in tonight because all the, all the songs are pretty much 10 on each album. Uh, there is 11. Is there instrumental? There's, yeah, there's one. There's an I instrumental. Mean... So that don't count. The instrumental don't count. That's not in the box. Oh, no. um, on the LA Guns record. Yeah. The LA right. Guns. On the LA Guns record. So yeah. it's going to be LA Guns debut record. Bullet Boys debut record and Kicks Blow My Fuse. They all came out, I believe, 1988. So yeah. um, we um, figured, you know, it's hard to pick, you know, like we were going to do one, I think, you know, when the Guns N' Roses record came out, but we can't put nothing against that. Nothing's going to beat that. So we were like, okay, let's get something that's at least kind of close to each other. So we thought this leveled out pretty good. Um, so the way we do this here, I pretty much pick out of. The little hat here. The way we judge the song is it's not by the best album versus the best album. We, the twist is that whatever song gets picked up against whatever song. And that's who gets the winning chip. So that's that's what we'll do. We'll each vote on one. Right here in the blue crab thing here from Maryland. We got kicks. <laughs> <That's clever. laughs> you like that? Yeah, huh? that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. We got here. It's not Peter Chris. It's Eric Singer. But we have in the, one of the kiss cups here. We have L.A. Guns. And in the Stanley Cup, the Stanley Cup. Oh, yeah, we have uh, the Star Bull Boys. So it's going to be 10 rounds, a round for each one. And, uh, you know, we give a little comments what we want to do. And uh, it's funny because a lot of a lot of these times we do the record rumble is who you think's going to win sometimes don't win. And that makes it fucking fun. So it's like, you know, well, you have to off the back if, if you pick the three. Uh, what's the best out of three? You know, I'm sure. Right. All, like we all, we'll know, probably but... talk at the end of the show of yeah. what we um. When you do uh, it song by song, when it's all scrambled up. You know, yeah. It's, it gets wacky. Uh, Dame, can you get a little more volume in there? Uh, yeah. Let me see here. A little, a little more volume. Uh, let me see. Hold on. I'm crying. I think Let's I'm not get crazy down. though. Yeah. Okay. We got a couple of people floating in the room. Hopefully a couple more pop in. Um, Monday Night Football is on. But Monday Night Football, it's fucking Sunday. My oh. days are all messed up. Come back from Jamaica. Me and Steve went to Jamaica. And uh, yeah, did nothing but lay around and eat. <laughs> Pretty lay much. Lay around, eat, eat and slept. Just, you just didn't leave the hotel rooms, it looks like. Not yeah. really. Yo, yo, none of us got a tan. I got a red stomach. Besides that, none of us got a tan. The I best part is to give... Um, we're gonna give before we start this, we gotta give two little two little stories or three little stories. So the one story is Steve tells me after, you know, I got a big dancing tattoo on the back mm. of my back. And I'm in the pool, and this 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 lady's taking picture of her son with her husband in the pool, teaching him how to swim. And he's like, you know, it's real nice. That lady's got nothing but you with the dancing tattoo no on all these pictures. Way. Yeah. No way. Like she was trying to avoid no him, way. and Al kept moving into the screen. That's great. <laughs> 
That's great. <laughs> yeah, and then on top of that, we get to Jamaica. That's our, you know, it's Steve's second time there. It's my first time there. You know, we're with our wives or whatever. So, um, so we're there, and Steve's, you know, we worked on Steve's uh, Christmas video for uh, Run Rudolph Run. He had everything laid out pretty much. I just had to do some editing with him, and and we put that out the other day, and um, that's available on YouTube. And uh, Steve, you no, know, Steve, Steve. Anybody knows Steve's in the hell he is. So he's he's taking pictures of everything. Oh, I'll get the video, the video, Jamaican, the video. You gotta get the Jamaican. So so he takes a picture. We're in, we're in customs. He takes a picture of this Christmas tree in customs, and a lady rushes over to him, and a lady's like, "Let me see that phone. Let me see that phone." He's like, and Steve's like. I took a picture of the Christmas tree. No, you got to delete that. So that was a whole, that was a whole interesting. Yeah, she like almost confiscated my phone. I almost went to a bamboo jail. <laughs> <laughs> picture of a Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and then on the, on the way home, we check our bags in. Uh, so <laughs> after we check our bags in, I have a carry on. My wife has a carry on and Steve's wife has a carry on. Steve has nothing. So we're in waiting to get on the plane to go home. And we hear as Steve walks away, of course, he went to go take a walk. We hear Stefan Tibilio. We're like, Steph, we're like, they just uh -oh. call Steve. They're like, please come to the security desk. Now, this, now he has nothing uh -oh. on him, not a bag, nothing like ID, passport, whatever. It's all he's got. He's got no bag. What are they checking? So now they forced us to pretty much go on the plane. We couldn't wait for him. And then they checked him for no reason at all. So that was probably the most interesting thing that happened to me. <laughs> yeah, she did like literally like a body search on me. Frisked me down, had to take my shoes off. Like she <laughs> checked everything. I'm like, she's like, did, yeah, they, did they KY the finger? No, no, no they didn't go that far. <laughs> I, I, I gave her my phone, my passport. And it was a tissue on my pocket that I used. So it was like, oh, it's not. <laughs> and I threw that on the table. I was like, wow, you really wasted your time on me. And she was just like, well, you know, we have a job. I'm like, yeah, I understand. But you should at least get the person with the carry on bag. Like I had yeah. nothing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that, I, I was pretty pissed at the time. I felt they wanted like, your oh, DNA off the tissue. That's what they wanted. <laughs> yeah, I, I they felt, probably thought that I was a suspect. Profile, they had no yeah. carry bag. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You had, like, you're the only guy with no bag, and that's the guy they checked. <laughs> They're like, hmm, yeah. something's wrong here. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, none of us came home with a tan. That's the funniest that's part. That's the best. None of us came <laughs> home with a tan. I avoided the sun at all possible. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so that's the rules of the game. You pretty much... Uh, Song versus song. That's how we do it. And that's who gets the chip. So let's go. Round one. Picks boomerang. Who made the sound? Who just went? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that was me. It's like, it's like, <laughs> LA gun, shoot the thrill. Oh. And Badlands mm. from the Bullet Boys. What a bunch of stinkers for the first round. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess we're going to go to uh, Steve first. What you got, Steve? All right. Um, I kind of stated this early. I'm not a gigantic LA Guns fan. Uh, and Shoot the Thrill did not let me down. Of, I did not like that. It did not surprise me or, you know, change my <laughs> opinion on them at all. Uh, don't like that one. Boomerang is not a great song on that record uh, compared to the other ones on there. So I'm going to go with Badlands just because I like the rhythm section of that band. It, it still had a little bit of an attitude, a little moxie the way they played. Uh, so I'm going to go with Badlands on that one. Okay, Steve goes with Badlands. That's one for the Bull Boys. Damien, what you got? Uh, what was it? Shoot the thrill was the LA Guns tune. Yes. Ah, uh, eh. and then we had Boomerang, and then Badlands. Badlands. Yeah, that's the, they're they're pretty uh, they're pretty even. <laughs> yeah, but I like uh, I really like that um, Bullet Boys record a lot. So uh, and I do like that song, Badlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going with that around. one. You're like bad man, you know. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're going to go with that one, bad lands. All right. Damien goes with the Bullet Boys. That gets another point. We're gonna go to JoJo. Easy. Bad lands. <laughs> Bullet Boys. Bullet Boys. All day. 
Bullet Boys. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's three for the Bullet Boys, Mike D. Yep. This might be a sweep. I don't know. Bullet ah. Boys. Mike it, D. For, for a deep track, it was pretty good. Yes. Mike D likes the way Mark Touring, if that's how you say his name, shakes his ass. So he gets a point. He, 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 I saw them in concert, man. He shook his ass. He, he, arches, shook his he ass. arches his back, too. He arches his back a lot. He's got a good arch. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got a good arch. He's got a good arch. He's always arching back. You that's know? good. That's I like. That. He's got yeah. a good arch. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that uh, video when it came out. I was like, man, look at his arch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with Badlands. How could you not go with that? The other two stickers. That's a sweep. Badlands yep. sweep. Easy. Yeah, oh, do we all boys. grow up together or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> brothers around the same area. Yeah, I think we so. all came from fucking nice and nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all in the water. Yeah. Oh, the fluoride. Steve, my wife says, "Meh." <laughs> Ongoing joke. Every time we take a picture, I got the meh face. <laughs> <It's> like, <"Grr." laughs> All right, guys, round two. Kicks, get it while it's hot. Hollywood tease from the LA Guns and going into the Stanley Cup for the Bullet Boys. We have Kissing Kitty. Steve. All right. I really like the Badlands album, but that song I never liked. Yeah. So I'm going to say no to that one. The L.A. Guns. Uh, don't like that song either. Um, so I am going with Get It While It's Hot. Kicks. It's my Steve. final answer. Steve going with kicks. Kicks get a point. Damiano. Uh, what, what, what was the LA Guns? Hollywood, Hollywood Tease. Yeah, that was actually a girl song, which was uh, the band Phil Lewis was in. So Phil before, Hollywood. right. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was an okay song, I thought. Uh, Bullet Boys tune, Kiss and Kitty. Uh, I actually kind of, I, I like pretty much all those songs on that record, but I, that the, the kick song, Get It While It's Hot, is uh, the superior song, I think, out of the three. Okay. I'm going with that. Kicks gets a point. Joe Berkeley. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go right off the bat. Kissing Kitty. Really? Yes. Wow. Dark Horse. Yeah. yeah. Dark Horse for the Kissing yeah. Kitty. Yeah. yeah. Kitty. <laughs> Just because uh, they're even with the other ones. Well, not okay. really. The bold uh, LA guns, <laughs> but uh, the only reason I went with kissing the kitty because I love cats. There you go. That was the tiebreaker. That was the what, tiebreaker. what kind of cat are you guys talking about? Are you the one we all like the most? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to change my opinion now. I mean, this could this could be multiple things. Here, you know, we got to true. You got to read the words. What's, What's Mark Terrain singing about? He's I don't think he's singing about cats with tails. Well, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe. But... <laughs> That's why he arches back. He's trying to reach his tail. That's right. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Mike D, what you got? Oh, for me, that was that might have been the lowest on the Bullet Boys album for yeah, me. Yeah. Uh definitely going with kicks on that one. Kicks, get it while it's hot. Um, yeah, Hollywood tease. Not for me, as we say. Not mm -hmm. for me. Kissing Kitty, that's eh, okay for what it is, but I'm going with kicks. Get it while it's hot. Definitely. That that's the that's the move for me. All right, guys. Next round. Oop. Kicks. She dropped me the bomb. She dropped me the bomb. LA guns. Nothing to lose. Oop. Double dipping over here. And the Bullet Boys, F number nine. All right. Uh, the L.A. Guns. Nah. <laughs> uh, F number nine, I actually thought it was okay from a, um, you know, from a groove standpoint. But I'm going to go with, uh, as far as a song and a chorus and all that stuff, I'm going to go with the kicks, too. 
We're going. She dropped me the bomb. Kicks. Game. Uh, the LA Guns tune is probably my least favorite off that record, so definitely not that one. Uh, she dropped me the bomb and F number nine. Uh, that's pretty close, I think. I'm going to go with uh, She Dropped Me the Bomb. All right, another kick song. Mike D. It's tough. I got them tied, too. Yeah, right? I like that Bullet Boys album. I'm going with that on that. <laughs> F number nine. Bullet Boys. Let's see what I got here. I gave F number nine a six. I gave... She dropped me to bottom a 6.5. And nothing to lose. I gave a 7.5. First point what? for LA Guns. Oh, boy. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, did Joe get a turn? No. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Joe. I skipped you. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the no. brakes here, buddy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Stay in order. I got excited. All right, I'll be quick. <laughs> yeah. no, take your time. I, I got excited. Uh... <laughs> Bullet Boys. Oh, another Bullet Boys. Yeah, yeah. Tip for the yeah, Bullet Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, that at, num- I had that at number. I I made that number eight. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't know why. I don't know, maybe because <laughs> maybe it's the groove. Maybe because I don't, yeah. Because uh, that album, it starts to groove a little bit, you know, as it yeah. starts to. Well, they're, they're really good. It's like oh, yeah. every other song is like a groovy song, you know? It's yeah. Like, well, the uh, drummer and the bass player are really good. They have uh, a major pocket on that record. Well, mm-hmm. especially he plays tradition, right? But, but like, no, no, I don't think oh, so. No. He oh, no? Oh, okay. No. Jimmy DeAnda was just, he was yeah, a he was, real oh, big, high hats were like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think I like the second one better. Their second, the second, yeah, uh, second Bullet Boys. Right? Like, they're all, they're good. All of them are pretty decent. Yeah. Actually, yeah, they're, they're underrated. Solid. Very underrated. Yeah. Um, I thought but, his voice started to tail off, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because like, I mean, you can always scream like that for so long, but I mean, the first record he was on point. I mean, them screams yeah. killer. And then the second one was a little less. By like, it got to like Zaza and some of them. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he just lost. You could tell he's not the same guy. I mean, but they said he didn't take care of himself either. No. Right, like he was a partier and smoker, and you know, and eventually, you can't be screaming like that expecting no. you know, to last like that if you're not taking care of yourself. That's for sure. Yep. Uh, one of the notes I had for for uh, F number nine was uh, I like the fact that he's he was singing in a, a lower. Register. register yeah in the, in the beginning anyway you know it was like oh i'd like to hear more of that and yeah. like later albums i think he does that where he does not, yeah he he's does. not going crazy so it yeah. was good to hear that that's kind of why i made it eight in my opinion anyway. yeah yeah he switched it up a little yeah, bit he switched it up next round it's gonna be a tough one kicks don't close your eyes mm. what's, what's beating that come on yeah okay <laughs> la guns electric gypsy all right, we got a little little friction here, maybe. <laughs> and then we go to the Bullet Boys. Crank me up. All Steve. right, this is really easy. Yeah. Uh, crank me up. I didn't think was the best song on that record, or even the top five of that record. So that's the real fast. Yeah. Van Halen kind. Yeah. Of yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought um, the Electric Gypsy. Uh, I remember the video. Uh, that does nothing for me. Don't yeah. close your eyes. I thought was a masterpiece. I could still listen to that song all day. Yeah, I think that song's great. Personally, yeah. I think he sings great. It's believable. Uh, it's got a great chorus. It's got good drum fills for a ballad. Uh, I, hands down, that's a ten to me as far as the song. Is oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, <laughs> Damien. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, definitely not the Bullet Boys song. Uh, I do like it, but it's total Van Halen. Yeah, like, like I even wrote that down. I put VH as a. As <laughs> Did a, you really? I, I swear <laughs> to you, God, yeah, a couple like of that. Have been off like a lot like of that. I do. I have a couple. Of, yeah, uh, I mean, they're severely influenced. You can. Well, tell. Had, did Ted oh, Temple and do the record? Produ- yeah. Yeah. Record. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's why it sounds so great. Gotcha. Too, I think. Yeah. yeah, and not and not overproduced, but yeah, it's uh, well, it's well. Yeah, done. the LA Gun Gun song, I really do like Electric Gypsy, but like Steve said, uh, you know, uh, what's the name? 
What's the name of the song? Don't close your eyes. Don't eye. close, <laughs> don't close your, your eyes. I mean, that's eyes. A, yeah, that's a, that's a ten. <laughs> yeah, that's Damien, a very kicks. Bad yeah. Joe, Joe. Oh, easy. Kicks. kicks. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Thanks for helping me out on that one. <laughs> Mike D. If there was one song on the LA Guns album that I might have picked as a winner, that, that was it. it. Yeah. But <laughs> not no more. We're not beating picks on this one. Sorry. No. Like with kicks. kicks. Yeah, crank me up. Definitely out. Electric Gypsy. I do like the song, but Kicks Don't Close Your Eyes. Come on. Great song. Great song. I gave it a 10 off. I might say Don't Close Your Eyes is the best song of all three albums. Oh, no. Ah, uh, hey, no, smooth. That's smooth, no, smooth up no. the best. No, it's not. Look, look no, no, there. I we'll get a song get that's going to beat that. My no fault. way. Oh, oh, come on. Let's hold. <laughs> we'll yeah, we, get to the head round. Let's not jump. We'll that's see. Okay. We'll see. Yo, you're right. I jumped the gun. Drummers jumping to conclusions, jumping the gun. <laughs> that's what of the happens. What the fuck? What the fuck? Red light, green light, TNT. Kicks. Going to La Guns. One more reason. Pretty good song. Going to Z Bullet Boys. For the love of money. Ooh. Devo. That's oh. okay. I do like red light, green light. I think it's a good, good song. I don't think it's like single worthy, but it's a good song on a record. <laughs> um the one more reason, I actually think that's one of the better songs on that record. But the cover for The Love of Money and what they did with the OJ song and his just screaming his balls off all through the thing, I got to give it to Bullet Boys there. Bullet Boys, get a point. Damo? It's the toughest toughest round so far, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Close, yes. Agreed. Damn, that's tough, man. Uh, I do really like Red Light, Green Light. But that's out of the three. That's my least favorite. The LA Guns. It's definitely between LA Guns and and the Bullet Boys. Because one more reason is probably my favorite LA Guns song off that record. But yeah, I mean, like Steve said again, like that cover is it's a great freaking cover. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Bullet Boys. Yes, Bullet Boys. <laughs> Come on, you gotta go with the Bullet Boys. Joe, Joe. <laughs> uh. Bullet Boys, all day, every day, <laughs> especially that song. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yep. Mike D, this is a tough one because Red Light, Green Light's a good song, but it's. I'm not a cover guy, but it's still not beating the Bullet Boys. Yeah. Mike D, Bullet Boys, yeah. ranking up here. Yeah, but um, it don't it don't when you hear it, it's not like a cover. Like, right, you know what I mean? Right. It's like when you right. hear it, you're like, is that a cover? And then there's certain <laughs> parts you're like, yeah, oh, it could. No, it couldn't be. Well, like it's, besides, it's a cover. It's a cover. Besides like the, the identifiable bass line, everything True. else That's, is, right. is, there, is original. Exactly. Yeah. You exactly. don't sing it the same way. It's not the nope. same drum pattern. That nope. same guitar. I mean, it's just that doo 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 doo. Yes. That's the same. You know, and that's, that's great. That's great yeah. alone. You could just listen to that for like All a day. Yeah. You, you know how good it is. Is like when I hear the original one, it's like. Sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> the original one sounds wrong yeah. to me, you know. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I because yeah. I think the Bullet Boys version is the one I know the, the most. Best. The most so fucking great. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Red Light Green Light is a great song. I like that a lot. Uh, one more reason is probably one of the best LA Gun songs, and uh, for the love of money, so damn good. Mm -hmm. So I like the Cashola. I'm going for the love of money. That's got my. It's another <sighs> sweet sweet man. Dude. That's a sweep. Bert, you were right, though, man. Surprise is surprise. <laughs> surprise is surprise. That's what's no, fun about this. It, yeah, man, because, like, the way you, the way they roll in, you know, you're like, wow. Yeah. When you, know? when you get that good song versus another good song, it changes yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Kicks. Dirty Boys. Dirty Boys. L.A. Guns. One-way ticket. The Boule Boys. Smooth up. Oh, easy. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah. Let's Dirty, Boy. <laughs> Dirty Boys, I thought, was one of the weakest songs. Oh, right? me too. Yeah, even yeah. though, wait, even though, I, I got to say this, okay? I should say this at the end, but I'm going to say it now. I really like that whole entire record. 
mean, I don't fast forward and oh, yeah. when I listen to it. 100%. But if we're like really being super critical, which is our, my job here. Yes. Uh, I'm going to say that that's one of the weaker tunes. OK, but I do like it in the concept, the concept of the record. Um, one way ticket was actually my highest rating on the L.A. Guns. Right. I really thought I was going to be able to vote for L.A. Guns at least once. Now that's <laughs> out. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to go with um the Bullet Boy song. Obviously, I mean, no doubt about it. Steve going with the Bullet Boys. What was the Steve. Bullet Boy song again? It was smooth up, smooth up, oh, one way okay. ticket. <laughs> All right, and dirty um, boy. Yeah, definitely not the kicks one. Uh, yeah, one way ticket actually is. A pretty good song. I actually said uh, I'm going to be able to say it one time. L.A. Gun. It's going to come out of my mouth once, I think, and it didn't. But <laughs> not up against Smooth Up in you, though. It's, so I definitely got to go with that one. Okay, so Smooth Up gets another one. JoJo. Uh, Bullet Boys. Yeah. Uh, what did I have? I had a number three. Uh, L.A. Guns. I wrote down. Cinderella. <laughs> I don't know. Remind me of Cinderella. <laughs> that was it. Was like a quick like note I wrote down. I don't know why. But that, uh, yeah, Bullet Boys. All right. Okay. Yeah. Joe Bull Boys. Mike D. Definitely the Bullet Boys. Mike D. Bullet We're boys. agreeing a lot here. Love. You got a lot yeah. of drummers though. That's why, man. <laughs> Dude, when can you get drummers in a room together? Right? We're right. like, yay! There's no guitar player, bass players, like you know, trying to tell how to count. You know, great. <laughs> uh, um, absolutely going to Bull Boys. That's probably my favorite song out of all three of these records. I love that song. It's a song that anybody. I mean, you get us all in a room. At least somebody when they do the mic check, somebody's fucking around with that at one point. It just happens all the time, all yeah. the time. So, uh, okay, next round. Dame, is it at the live feed working on your end? Yeah. Can you, mm -hmm. you can see the comments and shit? You can see stuff? Yeah. I don't know if I get this thing up right. People um, tell me to shut up. And <laughs> no ring around Rosie from Kicks. Okay. Bitches back, LA Guns. Bull boys, hello my heels. All right. Hello my heels, I don't think is necessarily a bad song, but it doesn't jump out at me. Yeah. Uh Ring Around Rosie, I actually really like. Um and the the bitch is back. Um I, I actually scored that a decent score. Um I'm going to go with the L.A. Guns on this one, just because I feel like voting for them one time on something. There you go. <laughs> L.A. Guns gets a sympathy vote. Let's go with the L.A. Guns. All right. How about that? Yeah. Dame-o. Uh, I never liked that L.A. Guns song, Bitches Back. Not a fan of it. Uh, no Ring Around Rosie I do like, but just for the way he counts in – Um. That one, song. two, fuck you, whatever that yeah, is. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's getting my vote now. I, I, like I said, I pretty much love every song on that Bull Boys record. So, um, that one's got to get it. Well, wow, it's like it's like we're going back to '88 here. Bull Boys riding high. Yeah, <laughs> riding high. <laughs> JoJo, Bull Boys. Wow, I was that was Bull quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like guns. I what did I write down? I wrote Guns and Roses. <laughs> it was like, you know, I was just kind of like, you know, because you know, I didn't hear the song yeah. all that well. So yeah, like yeah. as a reference, I went, just wrote it down. I was like, yeah, all right, it's Guns and Roses. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That whole album to me was was them just putting the putting it out. Like yeah. they just wanted to get it out right away. Well, you they know? had some heat on the name kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, or whatever. But then that second album. I love it. I mean, second album's it's, better. It's, it's, I think second album's better. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to do a rematch. We got it. Yeah. Maybe we have to do a rematch down the line with the second yeah. records from everybody. Yeah. yeah, came out a year later too. Yeah. Anyway, here the best thing is at the LA Guns notes. I have three papers right here for all LA Guns, right? <laughs> wow. And I have not voted because 
I wanted to make sure that I, you know, I gave him a chance. Right? Being fair. So I, yeah. I, I did give him one a more lot reason. of homework. <laughs> right. Bullet boys I already knew all day and kicks, but the LA guns. Yeah. Abs- notes. Yeah. N- notes. Woo. I went right back to Newman again. <laughs> Mike D. I mean, it's hard. I can't bring myself to go with LA guns. I'm listening to that album and it's like, I mean, I know they got better, but it was like, it, I, yeah. it sounded like Vince Neil at the end of his career. <laughs> So, not a Phil uh, Lewis fan. That's another guy, Steve. Steve's not a Phil Lewis fan either. No. Wow. So yeah, I def- who definitely you going, going Bullet Boys on this one, and and the Kicks one. Yeah, it was it was kind of the, one of the weaker tracks on their album. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the Kicks song's not too bad. Uh, really don't like the LA Gun song. Uh, hell, hell on my heels. Got to go just just for the intro. Mm-hmm. Got great lyrics yeah. too in it. Uh, yeah, it's, cool it's, it's a fun it. it's a fun song. Next round. Cold blood kicks. No mercy, LA guns. This isn't fair, man. Right. <laughs> and the bull boys, Ode to Joe. Oh, mm. man. Is, Yo, I'm I'm around. <laughs> All right. Cold blood. That is my favorite song on all three albums. That is an eleven. Yeah, oh, dude. <laughs> no, that's, I was thinking the same thing. That's I gotta an go 11. twelve now. I gotta go twelve. That's a great song. I knew Here. it from the minute I heard it. Thirty years later, it still sounds great to me. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, no I mercy. Uh, it's just another <laughs> song in that album that sounds like every other song to me. Even though I could respect some of the Tracy Guns guitar solos and stuff. He's obviously <laughs> a decent player. It's just you know this. O to Joe, I really like. I thought that was really different, you know. Um, the way he sang and that was kind of clever, you know. Mm. Um, but it, come on, Cold Blood. I mean, it, it, but it, it, there's, you have to go with that song. I think it's going to be a landslide across the board here. I'm just guessing. Hicks, Cold Blood, Demo. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm going with Cold Blood too, but it was pretty tough because uh, I do like O to Joe and I do like no mercy is just like a no brain. You don't eat yeah. like you don't need a brain for that song. Just like a, <laughs> like you know, you just want to. I put no frills. You know. No, right. no frills. Yeah. yeah, no frills. Yeah. Oh, okay, course. Uh, but it, but it, but it's not a bad thing because it's just a, yeah, it's a like an song. opening track. You know, uh, good solo. But yeah, I'm going with like the, the kicks tune. I mean, Cold Blood is a great song. I mean, great song, great chorus. Everything about it is is uh great. Yo, Joe. Yeah. Kicks. <laughs> I mean, right. dude, like you listen to that song. I mean, it makes you happy, right? Yeah. Like yeah. you can hear, you can listen to that song. The party song. Yeah. 30 mm-hmm. times in a row. I sat and listened to it and with a smile on my face. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot <laughs> how good this song really was. Yeah. You know? And like, I played it so much. I don't want to forget about it now. Yeah. You know, like I'm to the point where I'm like, man, we should cover this. It'll yeah. Be great. <laughs> yeah. It'll be, oh man. Great song. Yep. That's it. I think the coolest part of that song is, is it? The, the, yeah. The clap. The clap. Yep. It's great. Yep. Perfectly placed. Right. Perfectly placed. Right where it needs to be. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Mike D. Great. Great song. Easy one. I mean, oh, the Joe wasn't a bad song. Mm-mm. Not in the LA Guns. That would have won if it was up against something else. Yeah, sure. right. Yeah. yeah, you're you're not you're not beating, not beating kicks on this one. Kicks. Um, I like all three songs, but Cold Blood, man, what a hook! It's got energy. It's got an energy. It's got a feel good kind of energy. Every kicks. part. Every part. Yeah, it, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's we're we're only down to a couple more rounds here. We're in the ninth round here. Kicks, piece of the pie. Ellie Guns, sex action. Bullet Boys, shoot the preacher down. All right, this might be Ooh. this might be interesting this round there, Steve. Piece of the pie, another good song on the record. I don't fast forward it. You know, I don't fast forward it, but I don't go and pick that track either. So I got to, you know, I got to go buy that one. Sex Action is another Rock You, Shock You song from Elton <laughs> yeah. Guns. 
<laughs> uh, shoot the preacher down. I really like. I I like the shuffle of that. It's almost a hot for teacher hot for shuffle teacher. without yeah, the yes. double bass. I got yeah. that. Um, oh my yeah. god, that's crazy. Um, but as far you know, th that just sounds good. It's clear. You know, what I really liked about that record too. When he went into his guitar solos, just the bass was underneath. Yeah. He didn't add another rhythm track, and it makes it yeah. sound live and fresh. Mm -hmm. And you could tell he played it a click, but he wasn't edited it either. There's like no beat detector or nothing. He just played. If he was a little ahead, a little behind it, it was feel. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, so I, I really think you can hear how good they were from that song. And then, like, you know, it's totally Van Halen. I mean, yep. I think, um, you know, people were looking for Van Halen back then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They, 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 you know, between the singer, I mean, the guy wasn't a Eddie Van Halen kind of guy, but I mean, you could hear it in their songwriting that it's, it's, it's very, uh, Van oh, Halen. Yeah. 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 Uh, totally. he has nowhere near as flashy, but mm -hmm. I mean, you know, uh, that, that's it. Shoot the preacher down. That's my vote. Cool uh, boys. So, what did you give it? Give it, Steve. What number uh, did you give it? Like one to I 10. 7.5. Yeah. Oh, you there did. you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like the points. Wow. Dame's big on the points. Yeah, so, so, point one. so I didn't do it this look, time. <laughs> uh, Steve, you were able to look like look past like the Van Halen part of that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Even though yeah. I mean, obviously, it could have been a Van Halen tune. Yeah. Exactly. But I mean, as a song, I like the shuffle of gotcha. that. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. That's cool. Demo. Uh yeah, it was. I, I got to give it to LA Guns this one because. Uh, oh boy! Whoa! <laughs> I I like sex action. Uh, sex action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the uh, Ode to Joe is is, is not Ode to Joe. Shoot the preacher down. <laughs> Shoot the preacher, the preacher down. down. Shoot the preacher down. It is. It's total Van Halen. Uh, uh, yeah. Another one, but uh, yeah, like the guitar playing is like, uh, it's like like Eddie Van Halen if he was just like a if he was like a blues guy. Yeah. Sort of. yeah, 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 not yeah. like like no whammy bar type stuff, but right, yeah. right. Um, <laughs> yeah, and the kick tune is good too, but I but I like sex action the best out of the three. Jojo, uh, I'm going kicks. Nice, look at yeah, that. Yeah, I, I like it because it's uh the undertone of it has very Almany Brothers, Almond Brothers type of vibe to it. So nice. yeah, if you listen to it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's yeah. why that's why I went with that. Mike D. Bullet boys. Shoot the preacher down. Ah, yeah, for me, uh, this is tough. It's probably between sex action, shoot the preacher down. I I'm going to give the LA guns the one book. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to go have like guns. a mandatory, you got to wow. You got to pick at least one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I no, want to go with Dave. That'll be the new wrinkle of the show. Isn't there like a 10 goal <laughs> rule? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there like rule. a 10 goal rule? You just. Throw them away. Ellie Gunn's pulling the goalie right now. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. This is the last round. Whoa. Uh -oh. Here we go. Oh, man, this is out of the gate. Kicks. Blow my fuse. Oh. All right. Ellie Gunn's down in the city. And the last one for Z Bullet Boys. Hard as a rock. All right, Steve. Blow my fuse. I thought that was a great tune. Um, I really like that. I see. I remember seeing them at the Empire, right? Oh, wow. yeah. Midnight Dynamite record, and they came out. You could tell they had a great live show. They had it. They just didn't have the tunes. I thought. Mm. And then when they came out with that record, you. Cold Blood came out, Blow My Fuse came out. I was like, right, this is worthy of buying, and I wasn't let down. So I think that's where th this record is where they came to mature, and, and they found their their writing chop. So I really like Blow My Fuse. Um, what was the uh, L.A. Guns tune? Down in the City. Yeah. <clears throat> nah. And the Heart is a Rock I really like. I thought, great way to start a record, you know, right out of the gate, just Bad, we just blast yeah. away. Real attitude, but I think that I think blow my fingers is just, you know, ACDC, but yet happy. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with kicks. Kicks. So Joe, I'm sorry, Damien. Damien, I'm skipped you there. Buddy. Uh well, right off the bat, the LA Gun song is 
is uh, off because out of all three albums, I think Down in the City has got to be by the worst the song. Worst song. <laughs> probably, probably like the worst LA Gun song ever written. Also, I mean, it's, it's bad. It's a bad song. Hard <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a rock, man. That, that, that end, the, the whole vocal thing it does at the end is just, you know, that's just amazing, I think. And I would not be surprised if if that guy, like, banged that out in, like, one or two, three takes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, Blow My Fuse is probably my favorite song off that record. Um, that's just a great, great tune. Uh, so I'm going with that one. Blow My Fuse. Joe Joe. Blow My Fuse. <laughs> Kicks. Kicks gets another one. Yes. This is going to be closed. Mike D. Yeah, tough one, but uh, I think Kix is going to edge it out. Mike D, so. blow my fuse. And Hard as a Rock, great fucking song. Down in the City, forgettable. Blow my fuse. It's another 10 for me for that. It's just Ooh, energy. Yeah. It's That's the energy. Nine. I got a I had a 10. That. I had a 10. You had a 10 too? Yeah. Blow my fuse. I had cold blood and 11. What yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. You have to. <laughs> How many 10s you guys have? I think I had like just two at one point. Like, but they were all kicks, though. It was pretty nuts. <laughs> oh, and I'm lying. There was a bowl of boys. One. I had to smooth up a 10. Smooth up a 10. I had to smooth up a 10. I gave smooth up a 10 also. Yeah. Um, what other For the love of money, here? too, I had a 10. For the love of money, I gave a 10 also. How about that, Steve? Okay. LA uh, Guns, I had no 10s. No 10s. <laughs> no. What no was tens. the highest one you had? Eight. The highest song for them. Eight. Electric Gypsy was an eight yeah. for me. I had Bitches Back as an eight just because I, 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 you know, I just felt bad. <laughs> I had Electric Gypsy eight. Eight. I had Electric, yeah, and seven. That was the highest I gave. Any I, like the lyric, I like the lyric of back up uh, the, the bitch tune. Let me come inside your sacred heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's a great line. Yeah. I, I that Some classic <laughs> stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the kicks record, I gave Don't Close Your Eyes, Cold Blood were both tens, and Blow My Fuse was a nine. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got, Dame, for kicks? Close. Any tens? I, I didn't I didn't write any. Oh, you didn't do the ranking like you usually do? No. I what would you give time. though for the kicks? How many times do you think for on that? Right? Uh, probably three. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually had two, but close three. Mm. Yeah, that same thing with me. I had two and one that could have been. Yeah. Mike D. Any tens on that kicks record? I don't go tens. Nine's my high. <laughs> yeah, he figures you strapper. <laughs> like you got to put Stairway to Heaven out or something like that to be the ten. Yeah, Mike no, D's a little rough. All right, so um. We're going to go third place, second place, and winner. Easily third place. With four chips, LA Guns. Did they win any rounds? No. Uh, not a whole round. Me and you did everybody pick an LA Gun song, though? I did. Yeah, I picked a couple. No, I, I did. I picked I did. one. Yeah, there were the four. There was the uh -huh. four right there. Uh -huh. Okay. So <laughs> let's see what we got for kicks. That's. I think it's going to be pretty close with these two. Yeah. Twenty two for kicks. Twenty two points for kicks. We gotta be twenty two points. Z bullet boys. Let's see what we got for the bullet boys. The suspense. Yeah, we should have songs here. Like wow. Yeah, really. Twenty three. Bullet wow. boys. Yeah. One, wow. wow, see? That's great, Damn. right? But by one vote. That's great though. I like how that goes. That was uh, that. I think it's a very underrated record. Um, I mean, even like the album cover, it it's it's yeah. not eighties at all. I mean, no, it's, it's a pretty it's super no. clever, you know, it's it's a bullet going through an apple, you know. Yeah, it's, that's yeah, like a famous that's been used a lot before. Too, yeah, it's a, yeah, I know it's yeah. like a famous uh, photo. Uh even their videos, they had like that, that cool like little cartoon stuff going like black and white. What was cartoon. that guy's name? Was it Hatchet Head or something like that? You remember the mascot's know. name? I remember the mascot's name. I no, know. I don't. If anybody's in the room, do you remember the mascot's name? Oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I'm in the wrong space. Oop. 
Um, yeah, so the funny thing was, Mike, you said you seen the Bullet Boys live open for Ozzy when he, mm-hmm. when they got booed, right? No, 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 no. Cinderella. You know? Oh, Cinderella. They got booed they with the Ozzy thing, too. Yeah. No oh, way. yeah? Oh, no, they got booed with Ozzy, not Cinderella. Ozzy, yeah. The it was tower, out on the right? pay-per-view. The tower is on the pay-per-view. It's, yeah, it's, it's on YouTube. a weird fit, though. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I mean, that's it's weird, it. though. Like, if you I'm look, like, Ozzy always had... I mean, look at who he had. He had, yeah. like, you know, Metallica when they came out with Master of Puppets. You know, he had, like, all like a lot of heavier bands. And so then, it's like, a tour after that. They they had Bullet Boys. I mean, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I remember they had White Lion open up for Ozzy yeah. somewhere. I was like, dude, you know, Ozzy's a heavier... That's a weird... Guy. You know, too. so you can't base it on that, but I mean, you know, uh, Ozzy's it's that's a tough crowd. Uh, Harvey, I'm trying to reply to you for some reason, I can't get through here. It's LA Guns debut record versus the Bullet Boys debut record versus Kiss Blo- uh, Kicks Blow My Fuse. We did um 10 rounds, song versus song, randomly picked, and uh, yeah, and then that uh, Bullet Boys came Bullet out on top Boys. by one wow. vote. 23 for the Bullet Boys, 22 for Kicks, and four points for LA Guns. Um, so yeah, crazy. it's I'm actually going, they're actually going to be on the Jericho cruise when I go next month, Bullet Boys. I'm sure it's just going to be him. Yeah, I think they got to get, they did get down. together. They did get together not too long ago, and that yeah, kind of about, fell apart. Yeah, a couple of years ago. And um, yeah, I think it lasted like three months, and they all, you know, the, the other three guys just like left. They couldn't deal with them anymore. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. Well, here's a handful. <clears throat> yeah, well, there's something to say when the band changes the singer and the yeah. band is together. Yeah, yeah. It's usually, you know, strength in numbers, kind of. You know, <laughs> at least you see what he's doing. You see what Joe's doing, right? Yeah. Perfect topic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't catch that. It took me a little bit until I looked over. That's a perfect topic. <laughs> I'm not doing that song. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. Time yeah, to so, go. <laughs> so has anybody seen the Bull Boys live besides Mike? Yeah, I saw them. I saw all those I bands saw dozens yeah. of times. I saw, I, I saw both of them. I didn't see LA Guns, but I saw Kicks and I saw Bullet Boys. Now Kicks, I never seen live, but I heard they're great. Not an incredible life. live. Yeah. If if you if you were like just even like a casual fan, if you saw them live, you would just saw, you would be all in really? after seeing them live. I mean, they're yeah. so good. Great front man. Oh yeah, yeah he's amazing. good. Amazing, right. he's good. And they just retired. What September was their last yeah. show, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, who was telling me was it Damien telling me the story that the drummer got sick and was like, you know, I don't know how much longer I can do this. Was that was that the drummer? Yeah, he had a he basically had a heart attack. On stage, yeah. yeah, and and the bass player is like an EMT, so he he oh, like shit. was able to revive him. I mean, the bass player saved his life. So afterwards, the singer he he said that he just wanted to quit right then and there. He was he's like, I, you know, he saw it as like a sign. Yeah, but uh, you know, after he got you know healthy and everything, and they decided just we'll do like a few more shows, and that'll be it. Yeah, is this going to be the first M three without them? Yeah. They played wow. every year. They they headline in front of you know ten thousand people in Maryland. But yeah. you know, that's yeah, like they the pa- well place. they packed the place yeah. in. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the bands that still drew people. To, you know, a lot of these bands you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. But um, they At still they're, draw. They're not doing an Avatar band. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's a low blow, Mike. God. That's a low blow. <laughs> they're doing puppets. You know, sock uh, puppets. Oh, they go puppets. That'd be great. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Maybe one day, make money that way. Oh, yeah. uh, Harvey said the drum tech gave him CPR. It was the drum tech. Okay. Oh. That's it. There you go, Har. The drum tech gave him CPR. Well, at least they had somebody in the crew, so that's that's good, you know. Um, uh, as far as LA Guns, you know, I never seen LA Guns live ever. Anybody? No, I don't think I did. Mm-mm. Dame, you haven't seen them. Dude, I saw all, the, all these bands like a zillion times. Uh, okay, uh, like literally, I can't. I can't even count how many times. Really? So every festival they're on, it's just. Uh, you know, how how um, are they live? Is Phil Lewis good. any good yeah. live? Yeah, I mean, he's not. He's he's not David Lee Roth. Not like doing <laughs> splits and jumping off the drum right. riser. I mean, he's just. You know, they they're like a sleazy band anyway, so they're not gonna they're not gonna be. Right. Uh, you know, I, I kind of like the Hollywood Vampires record. That's probably my favorite Ellie Guns record. 
Yeah. I like that one. I thought that yeah, one. Yeah, that's really a good, good record. Yeah. What was the one with the malaria? That and... one. That one. That Hollywood one. Vampires. Cotton Load. Yeah, for some reason. Nah, Cotton, Cotton Load. It's good. Cotton Load. Malaria's on that one. Or what's that? What's what was your something? Well, yeah, Hollywood Vampires still my favorite though. Yeah. They, yeah they I thought I of... thought we were we were I, for some reason I thought the first record came out in eighty seven and the second one came out in eighty. I thought we were going to do the second one because I thought that would be a little more evenly. Right, evenly matched, but uh, it was a year we'll after. Do that the next you time. were right, though. You were right. It would have been. Yeah, it, yeah. We might have to do that. We we might have to do that next kicks record versus the second LA Guns versus the versus second Bull second Boys because that was because that uh that cock and loaded record was more like it was like in the same vein as like what kicks was doing like very very. very that Bout of James yeah, on that exactly. one, right? ACDC. Yeah. Yeah. Bout of James on that one. Malaria was on that yeah. one. The first the first LA Guns record is more like, sort of like. Kind of like a just like a basic, almost like hard. Even rock, though it was like metal yeah. record, I guess I don't know. Now, who put together that? Did Steve Riley come straight out of Wasp and then went in there? No, no, he didn't even play on the first record. Yeah, he wasn't on that. Oh, really? Mm-mm. He joined. He played on like one track on that record. Well, in the LA Guns record. Yeah, yeah. I didn't he know that. After. Yeah. yeah, he joined afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't know that. Like, I think his photos in the album. I think. I think so. That's why I probably yeah. remember. What was it? Yeah. Him, Kelly Nichols, uh, Tracy Mick Guns, Mick Cripps, and um, Phil Lewis, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And now there, well, they, there was until Stephen Riley passed away. They were there was two L.A. Guns or whatever, you know, yeah. which gets confusing, you know. Um, but yeah, so we're going to wrap up here in a couple seconds. Here we're going to go around to JoJo from the Circus Hearts. Uh, Want to give us uh, where you can get the record, where we can find you guys. And the date that these guys are playing and where. And you put me on spot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you, you know, the normal, every streaming, you know, outlet, you can get it. Vinyl wise, you can get it through me. <laughs> uh, but just uh, call me. Yeah, just, you know, just give me a call. Uh, yeah. We have, Out of your trunk. Out of, yeah. All day. Bro. That's, the easy, that's the best way. That's how I bought it. I bought it right out of the trunk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I showed up right up at his work. I was like, yo. No taxes. <laughs> no. No <sorry>. taxes. <laughs> and I and I drove it there too. So yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You know. Uh yeah, it's just, you know, like everybody else. It's all on, online. You know, the normal Facebooks. You know, I'm I'm the bad guy to promote. You know yeah. I mean? Yeah. Which is that it's you know a I mean? Hernico guy. Yeah. That's the Chris, guy that's Chris, the guy you're Chris, talking. Chris Chris is probably like going jesus what did, what, i told him I never, you know what I mean? like stop <laughs> but no yeah but um uh, yeah it's out there you know we're just we're just getting ramped up now so you're probably no, that's seeing, good we've been talking about trying to do some stuff together and yeah. another neat thing is that you know we all do like a digital artwork and all that stuff um yes i've done some stuff for steve i i usually do some of the stuff for us and uh chris Yes. The bass player in the circus hearts. This yes. isn't a digital photo. This is actually, he actually made this, yeah. the, the actual cool. heart. And it's, yeah. he made it out of that. Again, you're better off explaining it than me, Joe. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's like paper mache. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's, wow. yeah. And then we have a friend who's a photographer and they, they set it up, you know, obviously, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, yeah, Chris did a great job on it, man. Like, that was all his idea with everything on that. So yeah, really cool, really cool. Yeah. And like when yeah. when you told me, I was like, nah, no way. And then you showed me the photos of him actually kind of putting it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. sitting in his house now, right? Pretty much. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's sitting up on his wall, hanging up. Yeah, hanging. Berkeley up. was like, why are you making? Tell- why are you making an ass? What's yeah, going well, on? That's what I say. <laughs> take yeah, take it and flip it upside down. Go ahead, take, get it, get the album <laughs> and flip it upside down. And yeah. it's like a butt, a butt crack. Yeah, so it's it's tough. That's the so, selling point. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's subliminal no more. That's the money right there. Yeah, um, yeah. Steve, what do these guys got coming up? Uh, well, like I said earlier, we got the EP coming out. Um, and we're going to have a release party February 17th at the Berlin Brewery. Um, we got a couple gigs coming up. I think it's uh, January 27th. I think we're playing Paul's and then we're playing um, Laughing Fox in May and we got a bunch of dates coming up. Um, Railhouse, March 2nd. Um, but you can find us on Facebook or any, you know, anywhere you can find everyone else. Like Joe. Just go, yeah. hey, yo, you know. Yo, like, yeah. over here. 
Well, we yeah, got stuff. Yeah. We got a couple of videos out on YouTube, and um, they seem to be doing well. And you know, just throwing it out there and seeing if it sticks, like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Well, here you go, yo, yo, Joe. Chris pointing out there. Look, Chris is doing yeah. the Gene Simmons. He's got it out yeah. there. He's got the links up. He's got That's the it. Links. That's it. Click, 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 click. Uh, I love it. You got the he's got the links up. Steve, like Eric, get on this. You better put get up going. the damn links, she's, dude. She's like sleeping over here. Look, she's gonna wake her up. Wake her up. Get up. Yeah. She's, she's blurred out. Yeah, she's blurred. Out. Yeah. Uh, we're also we start playing again also in February and March, I believe. You know, uh, hopefully we'll be back in the studio also. Um, but yeah, so I know Steve said he's going to. I know the way they're doing their cycle, same as ours. They're going to go in. They're going to do a couple more songs as the EP comes out. They're getting ready to record more because they have a shitload of songs and they're laying down. And Joe, you, are you guys writing it all right now also? Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to be adding two new songs to the set. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, and then, I mean, we're really concentrating on just getting this this gig together. Yeah. So, um, but we do have other things that, are, you know, in yeah. the back burner. We got to try and hook up a gig with all three of us. That'd be cool. Oh, that'd be great. I've been saying that from day one. Yeah, I think from it'll be uh, it'd be easy for, for all the drummers in the room. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, no bullshit. Yeah, you play with Damien, Joe. I'm like, dude, I don't care what you use. Yeah, yeah exactly. You ain't gonna yeah, switch likewise. over all the bullshit. You don't have to worry about it. You know, no monster drum kits. Used to, I think Damien used his <laughs> seat last time because <laughs> yeah. he didn't want to adjust the seat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was about it, you know. Dude, we can have like we'll have like you know like a main snare, and then we'll have like three other snares. On the side. Absolutely. <laughs> and we'll look, like every bird gets a different snare. Yeah, dude, you get a mic all three. You, you know? know, we you know yeah. we can do it. You know that, right? Yeah, sure. we could do it. You know, I'm nuts like that. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm right behind you, bro. All right, I want to put these guys on the spot since we got Mike. If you notice, we have three drummers with us right yeah. now. <laughs> so, yes. uh, Steve. First drummer you were influenced by and your favorite drummer. Oof. Well, it's hard to say. I would say Steve Smith had a huge impact on the way. Jeremy? Yeah. Um, yes. Favorite drummer? Uh, I'm still going to go with the, the old man, Tommy Aldridge. That's your guy. Yeah. Oh, man. Great. Yeah, yeah. That's I your mean, guy. Still, he hits like a monster. He's quick. He's tasteful. He's clean as hell. He's got great feet. He don't overdo it, you know. Um, yeah, I like what I like what he does on his own stuff, but I like what he takes from another drummer and makes it better. Like what he did with Lee Kerslick stuff, he made everything better. He yeah. took Andrew Dunn's yeah, yeah, yeah. parts and White Snake and made yeah, it better. better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So I'll go with Tommy Aldridge, which probably them two answers would have been the same thing twenty years ago. So yeah. I'm gonna say okay. Yeah. 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 They ain't great players. I'm just, yeah, you know, guys out there now are, are nuts, you know, like, Terry right, but just the guys that, that you got to influence you on one that you kind of like listen. I, I think I'm a song guy, so I like drummers to play parts and songs. I mean, if you want to go technical, guys, exactly. all out drummers, I mean, the list could go on. I mean, there's yeah, and we're not, yeah, not technically just, just ridiculous. Yeah. It's like, dude, whatever, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I can't even think like that, like, let alone, yeah. like that, you know, that math rock, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, Dane. First drummer that influenced you. Those have to be your favorite. First drummer that influenced you and your favorite favorite drummer, just for you. Uh it kind of changes all the time, but I think the, I think the, the I'll, I'll say like Steven Adler is probably the answer for both. I mean, he was like the, my first like favorite drummer, and he's probably I mean probably the one who influenced me the most. He doesn't do any drum fills. I don't do any drum fills, you know. If you take if you just look, like listen to a snippet of any of those songs, just by the way he plays, the certain drum fills that he does, like he does fills like on on cymbals and shit like that. He never he never goes around the drums. I never um, noticed that. Yeah, yeah he does like certain like 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 snare drum licks and shit. There's certain things that he does within the songs I always thought were 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 cool. You know, and it was so unlike anybody at that time. Like he like less is more. He he like. He barely did anything, but there was a certain feel and everything that he brought to those songs that like if you took a snippet of any of those songs, I could tell you like what song it is just by, you know, the, the certain part. thing. Right. Yeah, the, the drum part or or whatever. I mean, look at the uh, what is it? Um, 
Mr. Brownstone, that one drum fill. Better to dent, 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 boom, bam, like, like that. It's such a cool, it's so easy, but it's like, it's a it's melody. Like a part of the, yeah, it's a That's part a of melody. the song. Yeah. It's a melody. You know, so, um, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, or Carmine and the Peace would probably be like the biggest influence, but I'll, I'll go with, I'll give Steven Adler some love. Okay. How about yeah, you, Jeff? Absolutely. Uh, what was the question? The, the first first, first uh, drummer that made you want to play drums, like influenced you, and then your favorite drummer to listen to. Don't have to be the greatest drummer in the world, just the drummer that you enjoy listening to. Two Bobbies. Bobby Berklin, Bobby Bo- and Bobby Blotzer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Bobby Blotzer, man, I'm telling you. Woo. <laughs> There's something about his playing, man. You want to yeah, talk about... like a cool swing, yeah. Yeah, when you talk yeah. about the swing and you talk about, like, you know, little things... You know that he throws in there, yeah. And yeah. then of course, of course, Extra your brother. Notes, that's, your brother was the first guy you probably heard really play that. That you know, yeah. Well, you. Yeah, yeah, we both started playing together. You yeah. know, obviously, I was whatever, but yeah, yeah, Bobby, yeah, yeah. As soon as he went to the Nico's the, for lessons, he came home. He played one lick, and then that was it. I kicked him off the kit. I was like, <laughs> yeah, keep singing. No. <laughs> but uh but yeah that would be uh yeah my brother and uh bobby blotzer nice you nice. know whether he's my best like you know bobby blotzer being my favorite drummer but he was like you know i studied him you know yeah uh, like you enjoy like, the one you enjoy yeah i used to yeah. study and listen to him like yeah. listen to all the little little nuancey things that he would do yeah you know i got one last question and we're gonna ask the whole room me, me and michael get involved with this Best drum intro in a song, Steve. Oh. Oof. That's, That's a tough, tough one, yeah. I got two that I love, but I don't know which one I'm going to pick. Can you put me on the spot? I'm yeah, I know. Yeah, it's spot with That's what we do here, on the spotty, Toddy. Uh, over the mountain, Lee Curse like Ozzy. Uh, that's up there. Damiano. Yeah, that's a really good one. Uh, I- I'm sure, like... After when we're done this, I'll probably think of one that probably <laughs> is the the pick for me. But right off the bat, you know, first thing that comes to mind is Painkiller. I think. Oh, oh, I didn't even think about that. Not that's Travis. a great one. Yeah, that's a, that's wow. such a great. Yeah, yeah I mean, I just wow. like. Now you got me up as Erica. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it comes up with your thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, Painkiller. That's a good one, man. I wasn't even thinking of that. That's good, Joe. Uh, be. Uh, Def Leppard. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. right. Boy, Which I'm one? Wait, I don't know if I got it yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rock, Rock, Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. I was also with Def that That, that, Def that album. Yeah, yeah. When I heard that for the first time, Cowbell. Yeah. That's yeah. another one. If you ever did that against another thing, that'd be tough. That's tough. Yeah, oh, yeah, tough yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing that could go, that and the Guns N' Roses record could maybe go head to head in that. Might be close. Might be close. Yeah, that that's a tough one. Mike D. Yeah. I don't know. Totally on the spot, but it's got to be something that Led Zeppelin. I couldn't even name one, but just something with it has Zeppelin. to be. It has to. Be. Uh, uh, man, it's it's tough for me because I I would say, I'm this is not my pick, but Back in Black, just that simple beginning is great but over the mountain is the one i would definitely pick to me yeah. that's the greatest it's just great <laughs> you know it's just it opens everything up and that's oh, back and back and black doesn't <laughs> start out with drums <laughs> 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 uh, he plays great hi-hat he's plays great oh, hi-hat. Yeah. it's the beat i'm talking about the beat you know uh, drop the beat yo Okay. But, um, yeah. <laughs> no, but over the mountain is my pick. Yeah, oh. gotta edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over the mountain. So, uh, thank you guys for coming on. Seems like Tuesday. You can find them on Facebook, Spotify, everywhere else. YouTube, the Circus Hearts. Same thing. YouTube, Spotify. Hit them up. Check them out. Give them a listen if you haven't heard them before. And uh, hopefully, you come see one of the shows soon. Both of them got. Well, both of them are going. Um, First live show for the Circus Hearts. Yeah. And Steve's got a new EP coming out soon. And uh, yeah, come check it out. Mixtapes and Taste the Cakes. We might see you next week for a Christmas episode. I'm not sure yet. 
But we, uh, have, we haven't we having a company Christmas party. Yeah, we're having a company Christmas. Oh, nice. Nobody's getting on, shit. on the Bert account or what? Bert, yeah. NGS party. Nobody's where's, getting where's, shit. Where's the, is it a virtual <laughs> Christmas party or what? You're it could do be it a Zoom? virtual Christmas party. We can invite everybody in. Yo, drink them heavy. Yeah, drink me heavy. <laughs> drink the eggnog heavy. Yeah. I drank a lot of pineapple juices. That's what I drank when, when I went away. A lot of pineapple. Yeah. That kills inflammation, you know. It, it's what you said. Yeah. Nothing hurts. It's good. Have a cranberry juice. It's that good. helps with inflammation. Uh, pineapple juice. Yeah, TI yeah. infection. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Pineapple and a lot of eggs. <laughs> Mike, it's funny, man. I'm still airing out the Jamaica thing. Mike walked in the room. Mike's like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "I'm airing out the Jamaica, brother." <laughs> I was letting loose. I was like, "Jesus!" Christ. He went, he went ape shit on the jerk seasoning. I said, "Dude, you're gonna like get sick. You keep eating that shit. It's that curry, it's like the bread. He's like yeah. mopping it up like it's gravy." I'm like, "Dude, you're gonna get the yeah. shit." I had the shit. He's eating it. He comes down the next bill and he, man, he's that's like, what it was, man. Oh, I was yeah. like that jerk seasoning. You can't eat it like it's. No. Dude, you fuck. <laughs> First day I was there, I had the shit. So I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> it went away quick, thank God. But yeah. What, were, you, were you going to town like French onion, uh, French, French onion dip or something? Or, Dude, uh... it was like this spicy. It was like real spicy. Oh, it was fucking good. Yeah. I had it on the eggs. He's like, it looks like you got fucking Sunday gravy all over. <laughs> you, you can't wear a speed over after all that. No, I didn't wear the speedo. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't go bald. I, <laughs> I would have been by myself. Everybody would have left. <laughs> yeah. Everybody would have left. All right, guys. That thank white you guys speedo, so much. yes. <laughs> thank you for coming on. Hopefully All we'll right. see you next week. We'll definitely have these guys on again. Circus Rats, I got to bring them on. Seems like Tuesday also got to bring on. And uh, yeah, we'll figure this one out. Have fun, Thank you man. so much. Uh, Thanks. I'll see you guys. Good night. Later. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs> 